Integrate Pro Site Speed. We're going to show you an example of how to speed up a site. And to do this, we're going to take an 80 20 approach. In other words, we're not going to do everything we possibly can to improve the site speed. We're going to just use the big hitters. Whatever one of these two tools tells us to do that's going to have the biggest impact, we're going to do that. Now, we're going to use two sites one's Think with Google and the other one's GT Metrics. We're mostly going to use GT Metrics. Um, because they're very insightful. Think with Google was really trying to get you to use their accelerated mobile project pages, which are great. However, they're very limited. So first thing we're going to do is baseline the performance. Second thing we'll do is figure out what our plan of attack is. Third is we'll actually make the changes. And fourth is we'll measure the site and speed improvement. So let's dive right in. So Kyle was kind enough to share his site. And we're going to make modifications to this page or this site to see what we can do to improve it. So first thing to do is let's get a baseline. So I'm going to go to here. This is Think with Google and GT Metrics. And I'll show you what I think are the most important credentials. Ah, here we go. Let's look at the bus. Dun, dun, dun. So this will take a little bit. So will this. I'm going to pause for a second. OK. So here's GT metrics, the results they came back with. Uh, grades aren't great. I don't usually worry about that too much. Um, and I'm actually going to retest this just to be sure that this is the number set. So there's 107, 4 megabytes, 7.7 .7 fully load. This is not a great metric. But let me just retest it, see what we come up with. And while that's happening, Google's still chugging along, looking at the site. And we'll let them continue. Okay, here's this, still not good, and but it's changed quite a bit. But again, let's not look at that one, I'll show you. So these numbers are about the same. Okay, so let's start with what under page speed they recommend. So it's optimize image, a great letter F. So they're saying we can improve or reduce the size of the site by 610 kilobytes if we make these changes. Now, here's the thing to note, this one file uh, is 566 K of 610. So this is the one we're going to focus on. So that can save 566 kilobytes. This can be 12 kilobytes, four kilobytes. We're not even going to touch those. So let's take a look at this. Let's go see what this image is. There it is right there. Let's see their version of it. And we are going to use their version. So it's definitely changed a little bit. So something's going on. They've done something to optimize it. Now, the site owner might not like this, but we're going to try it, but also leave the option to go back. So this is the one change we're going to make on that image stuff. That's probably very important. What else do they say here? So let's defer parsing of JavaScript. OK, this one screams issues right here. 3.5 megabytes of JavaScript are being loaded. And the total page size is only 4 megabytes. So what's going on here? And if I look closely, it looks like there's a number of YouTube JavaScript files being loaded right there, those top three. Let's go take a look at the page and go find those. So if I scroll down, where do I see YouTube? I don't see YouTube. These go to YouTube videos. Ah, there they are. So these embedded videos are what's causing the issue. So what I think I'm going to do instead is instead of embedding the videos, we're going to make a screenshot of this, make it similar to this, and then put it here and simply link to YouTube. So that would be in line with what's being done here. So this like links to YouTube. Um, so that's what we're going to do there to help get rid of all that stuff. So that should have an impact. Scaled images, um, 88.9, not such a big one, but I have a, oh, and these are all Wistia videos. So we don't really have, an, except for this one, which could save 18K. I'm not going to worry about these, so that's not going to happen. Uh, and then honestly, I'm not going to do anything beyond that. So we've got this one image to improve. We're going to try and get rid of all this YouTube JavaScript and simply link to the videos. I'm going to look here. Honestly, I don't really like this Y slow. I think it's Yahoo. They don't really tell you much that you don't already know. Um, sure, 
let's use that. And their recommendations don't always help so much. So this is a waterfall view. It's basically how long things are taking in order. So the site loads, and this is actually pretty fast, a quarter of a second, so that's pretty darn good. Now what I'm looking at is actually this red line, which is, I think, the on load time. That's kind of the important one. So we're looking at 5.5 seconds. I'm going to go to timings. The on load time is 4.3. So that's really the number we want to kind of beat. All this other stuff looks pretty good. They're, you know, they actually show something relatively quickly, but the page is loaded in 4.3 seconds. So that's the number. I'm not worried about this so much. Um, and let's go see if we can figure out what's going on. So what I'm looking for here is big files, big images, and we've already figured out. So there's something right there. This is the JavaScript from Wistia. We don't have a lot of control over that, nor does it seem to be impacting. There's that image, that image they've recommended we reduce, and notice this one definitely takes a long time to load. And now I'm looking for, you know, these are all kind of occurring at the same time. That's great. Now these are the things that aren't happening right away. What's going on here? This is YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So to me, that's a little bit of an issue. Let's get rid of those guys. So this is small. Boy, that seems to be taking a long time for how small these files are. Wistia stuff, what is this? This is again, this is YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, all right and nothing big going on here and then we've got all the stuff after the onload i'm not too worried about that those are mostly wistia stuff so not too bad okay so i'm pretty comfortable with the idea that we're going to minimize that image that'll be one i'll be honest i think the youtube videos will probably have the biggest impact and what we're targeting is 4.0, oh, sorry, let's look at it. The target time to beat is 4.3. So let me just do that again, just to be sure, 4.03 if I remember right. And let's look at what, while we're waiting, let's look at what Google has to say. Um, they're saying it's actually pretty good. So, um, and all, honestly, they're trying to get you to sign up for a report, but they don't, GT Metrics, in my opinion, gives you a lot more information. So yeah, 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 okay. And what are the top fixes? I bet one of them's accelerated. Oh, it's not. Oh my gosh. Optimize images. Yes, I agree. JavaScript. Yep. Leverage caching, which I think is already being done on this site. There's a plugin that does that. So I'm not too worried or think this is very insightful. So say goodbye to Google. And let's go back here and look at the timings again. So 3.3, so that's significantly different. That's why it's a good idea just to, let's retest one more time. So we got 3.3, we got 4. Point something if I remember right. We'll do it one more time, and then I'm gonna pause, go and make those changes that I've talked about, and then we'll come back and um, test the site. So let's look at the timings, 4.9. So, all right, somewhere from 3.3 to 4.9. <laughs> it's definitely all over the court, but um, reducing this file size, um, I think will have an impact on the user experience. So I'm gonna pause and go make some changes and I'll come back. Okay, so, um, I've gotten things ready, I've minimized this image, and I'm getting ready to replace these videos with images. But let me just show you another thing I did. So for instance, I created screenshots, and here's one of the first video. Notice the size, 207 kilobytes. Now, if I, I did run it through a, an online site that shrinks it down simply to 35K, in my opinion, that looks effectively identical. So this compressedjpeg.com site did that. So those images are small. This image is much smaller. Um, it's only 30 kilobytes, but it does look a little bit different. So the site owner might decide, no, I don't want to do that. But in the meantime, let's go make some changes. Let's start by customizing this. We got to figure out how to find that. And I don't want to break anything, so I'm going to make, I've got a copy of all this stuff so I know what's going to happen. So let's figure out widgets, I think is what we want. Header right, is that it? Nope. Primary sidebar, yeah, I think this is it. So it's got to be one of these guys. There it is. 
So I'm going to copy this and save it off. And I am going to replace it with um, the newer, lighter version. So let me just get it ready. And I apologize that we're sitting here talking about it and not sh Anyways. OK, so here's a new version of that. And basically, the name's almost identical because I don't want to um, hmm, cause problems. It's just simply dash new is the only thing I've changed in there. So now, this is going to be a little bit trickier. We've got to find where these guys are at. So I'm not going to publish this. This is. OK, so that's probably it. Yeah, let's see. There's all the YouTube stuff. So let me just save this off. And we are going to embed the image of that. And then we're going to um, link to the YouTube video. So I'm going to pause and make those changes and come back. OK, so let's go ahead and paste the new version in. Okay, I don't like how small those images are, but you know what? I think that's going to work. Anyway, so let's go ahead and publish this. We can always go back. And let's take a look at it on the home page. Make sure nothing looks really wrong. So this slightly different color. And yes, it does link to YouTube. Okay. So let's take a swing at this now again and notice, you know, the, the biggie is the on load we've seen anywhere from 3.3 .3 to 4.4, 4 megabyte thing. This should go down significantly, but let's find out. Okay, that wasn't as much as I thought. The fully loaded time went down. That's good. So let's look at our timings. 1.5. Yes, much improved. So that onload time was in the 3.3 to 4.9 range. And now it's down to 1.5. So that's definitely an improvement. The file size, total file size is improved. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. Maybe there's something else we can adjust to improve that even further. Okay, fully loaded. Remember, not too worried about that. Timings 2.3. Okay, so 1.5 to 2.3 versus 3. Point something to 4.9. Let's take a look at the recommendation. So let's serve scaled images. So we could do a little more work, but that's Wistia, so we can't do that. And these aren't going to save much. And no, I don't really know what to do there. Optimize images. Again, not much different. So again, I'm doing my 80-20 approach. I don't think there's much I can do at this point. The server's still snappy. It's nice and fast. Is there anything that's just kind of sticking out? No. So yeah, I'm going to say definitely an improvement. Um, we've got the onload page time down, I don't know, 50% maybe. And the total size of the page has been reduced by about 50% simply by removing the JavaScript associated with the YouTube videos. And in theory, um, people should be able to view this page a lot quicker than they may have otherwise. Thanks.